In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways you can create a side-chained pad sound in Ableton Live while you are playing. We're going to be going through how to use a side-chained compressor, how to use auto pan, and how to use auto filter. So let's have a look at our first method, the most traditional method, using the compressor. So I've got a standard pad sound here and a compressor. Now, a compressor in this particular sidechain sound needs to be sidechained to something else, and Ableton is the perfect tool for this. So I've created an audio clip on a separate track that just has a silent kick drum playing four on the floor. So when I play this kick drum, you won't hear it, but you'll see audio is going to sends only, and warp is on, which means this will follow the tempo of my Ableton Live set. Now, this can be accessed from our compressor. So when you drop your compressor in, you'll have to open up this little uh, toggle here and turn on sidechain. Then you'll choose audio from, whatever the name of that track is, and post mixer, and you'll turn your gain down. Now, you're gonna need to play with some of these settings here, but I turn this ratio all the way up to being a limiter, infinity to one. No attack at all, and I've got 113 milliseconds on this release, but you'll do it to taste. Um, and then you have to set your threshold, which is actually pretty easy. So check this out. I'm gonna hit this play on this clip, and we'll check back here, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so your threshold should allow you to get a good duck. And I'm thinking for this particular sound, around negative 18 is correct. Now, when I pull this gain down, we've got nothing. And as I lift it up, I get that side chain sound, which means this can be napped, mapped to a MIDI controller and controlled when you play live. Now this is the most traditional method, but there are actually two other highly effective methods. So let's look at method number two. You can sidechain your synth sound using the auto pan device that comes with Ableton. So let's go ahead and add an auto pan to this track. So the settings for this auto pan are choosing the sawtooth, moving the phase to zero, and setting the rate to quarter note. You'll wanna switch from normal to invert, and now when I turn the amount up, you are gonna see that sound come into play. which again means using a single mapped knob on your controller, you can get this effect. If you're getting value out of this video, make sure you click like and subscribe. Now the final way you can create this effect is a bit less traditional, but you use the auto filter. The settings for this are as follows. You're gonna pull a bit of the frequency off and add some resonance and head over to the LFO section you're gonna choose this uh, reverse sawtooth and set the rate to quarter notes. Now, this is, of course, a bit less traditional. However, it still is a nice effect and with one knob, you can map to the amount and bring this effect in and out. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value out of this video, click like and subscribe. And I'm gonna leave two links up here about how you can build a holistic live keyboard setup in Ableton Live. I'll see you next time at livekeyboardist.com.